I am Dr. Nanda Rajneesh. I am a laparoscopic surgeon and a bariatric surgeon in Apollo Spectra Hospital and Sakra World Hospital. After any laparoscopic surgery or any surgery for that matter, we give a lot of medicines. You should know this. Antacids we give, antibiotics, we give painkillers. And because we add so many medicines, those medicines itself have a side effects. The abdominal pain and gas happens because you kill the normal gut organisms also. And secondly, you may increase the abnormal gut organisms. So the way to reduce post-operative bloating, abdominal pain and discomfort and irritability is one is diet. Okay, You have to give foods that do not form gas, antioxidant diet we call it. That is, I tell patients not to eat bread, biscuits because it's very common that post-surgery patients will just go and start eating bread biscuits because it's simple and it's available. What we recommend is antioxidant diet. This diet is known to reduce gas formation in the abdomen. Uh, that means you have to eat a lot of vegetables as much as possible, simple rice and curd or idlis. The Indian idlis is supposed to be very good. And when you take simple diet like this, the gas formation doesn't happen, bloating doesn't happen. You're not allowed to eat foods that take longer time to digest like a lot of meat, like uh, high protein foods so that can even degrade in the stomach like too much of dal so you should avoid i always say like not to take tuber dal because there is a tendency to just give simple khichdi but khichdi yes of course it's uh, soothing but it can form gas in the stomach and always your doctor should insist on giving probiotic it's very important because that also prevents gas formation and pain and you will be already on a painkiller antacids so if you still have a severe pain, body pain, fatigue, tiredness, post-surgery with these medicines, you could be allergic to one of the painkillers called diclofenac. You can, you can tell your doctor that there is some discomfort all over the body, not just in the stomach. So this is how you can prevent the post-operative problems that you can face.